Ladies and gentlemen, Emma Orr. God, I can't wait to learn the calculus. <laughs> uh, hello? Hi. Uh, hello? Earth to math geeks? Oh, <laughs> that would be us. Extra help is next door. Yeah, um, I know that, but I'm not here for, I mean, I'm Victoria Margaret. <laughs> I stalk <stop> you. <laughs> <laughs> Why was six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Whatever, I'm still talking. And so is Victoria Martin in Victoria Martin, Math Team Queen by Catherine Lee. Sorry, 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 I know I'm late, but someone unzipped my backpack and my books fell out all over the hallway and I had to. <sighs> it's Vicky. I'm Peter. This is the team. A Mr. Riley recommended that Vicky here replace Sanjay Patel. No one can replace Sanjay Patel. Okay, um, I just stopped by because Mr. Riley said he was totally going to give me a detention if I didn't. Well, he told you we have a meet today, right? Because we need to leave now to make it to the meet. There's going to be a girl on the team. Okay, um, this isn't really my team. Plus, I totally need to read the diary of Anne Frank tonight. We'll tell you what happens. Yeah, the chat partner to end, where Anne starts intercepting Morse code signals from Germany and becomes Hitler's sex slave. <laughs> right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> but if I do this, that doesn't mean I'm, like, doing this, okay? Like, maybe this once, but I am so not on math team. We need to leave now to catch the band! <laughs> There's going to be a girl <laughs> in the van. <laughs> I'm popular. Like, totally, undisputedly popular. Like, I walk down the hallways, and even though I'm a sophomore, there are seniors, senior guys with deep voices who say, hey. <laughs> Sometimes they say, hey, Vicky, what's up? <laughs> like, they know my name. <laughs> OK, so. Mostly they're on the basketball team and they know my boyfriend, Scott. He's totally into me. And I'm friends with the Jens, who are on varsity cheerleading, even though they're only sophomores. Mostly because all the juniors who tried out this year had weight issues. So forget trying to get them up in a pyramid. I have secured my place in the high school universe. But yesterday, at the math meet, all of that was suddenly meaningless. This one kid had an equation across his t-shirt. The quadratic formula. I know. And in the sophomore round of questions, there was this kid sitting right next to me who kept clicking his retainer. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I don't do headgear, OK? <laughs> so can you do this or not, Vicky? Because we really need to get this practice started. I thought practice was optional. We like to practice as much as we can. Right. Because you're nerds and you have nothing better to do. Because we love math. <laughs> That's why we practice. Oh. I mean, OK. I've never actually met someone who said they like math, but I can. So you're staying? No. My boyfriend is waiting. I'm out of here. Yesterday at the meet, everyone kept asking me what it was like having a girl on the team. I told them it was awesome. I like her. I really like her. Can we keep her? Do we have a choice? Because Vicky Martin is nothing like Shanje Patel. Don't you know who she is? Look, guys, we don't just need a sophomore. We need a sophomore girl, okay? Now, do any of you know any other sophomore girls? <laughs> I didn't think so. You mean the only reason she's on the team is because she's a girl? Mr. Riley said that Principal Nichols said that this is a co-ed team and so we need a girl. So what are we going to do? I don't know. I guess she's on the team. But I do know one thing. 
There is no way in hell. Hate her! Sorry, Jimmy. I know your mom doesn't like it when we swear. <laughs> Let me just say this. The probability of the math team making it to state with Vicki Martin on the team is rapidly approaching zero. Okay, I heard everything they just said. I'm popular, but I am also totally, totally smart. And you know something else? I am so not quitting, even if that's what all these nerds want me to do. Shh. At our next beat against John F. Kennedy School, where we expected to get crushed. We didn't. We lost. By one point. She wasn't even that bad. She was unambiguously good. <laughs> At our next beat against Roosevelt High, we tied. <laughs> Sometimes in the van, Coming back from a meet, Vicki Martin would be sitting right next to me. Shh. Shh. And I could smell her hair. And it smelled really nice, like fruit. Shh. Shh. And it'd be kind of warm in the van, and, and I'd be kind of sleepy thinking about what my mom was making for dinner that night. And, and I wished I could get just a little bit closer to smell her hair. Shh. <laughs> Vicky's hair, not my mom's hair. <laughs> Maybe even. Shh. But then I remember who I am. Just some freshman who will never, ever get to touch Vicky Martin's hair. She's probably sitting there thinking what a loser I am. And, and she'll go home and talk to all her popular friends on the phone about what fruity shampoos they use. And, <laughs> and I'll eat chicken pot pie with my mom. She came. And she said we couldn't take our sneakers off in the van and because our feet stink. <laughs> and she brought Cracker Jacks to practice because she said they were retro. And then made us give her all our prizes. Except for the temporary tattoos, which she made us apply to our foreheads because she said it would give us brain power, <laughs> which it did. <laughs> this is awesome, because the Longwood High School math team is finally winning again. But this time, it's different, better. Like, it's more than just math. Shh. Hello, Vicky. How are you today? Math. I think I have to quit the math team. What? You cannot quit the math team. I know that you know my handwriting, <laughs> but this is a note from me and the other Jen. We have discussed it, and we feel exactly the same way about this. <laughs> Just because we are inside that gym, cheering our butts off for our team and your boyfriend, don't think for a second that we don't know about everything else going on inside Longwood High School. I mean, even making out like the entire nothing in the back of the super van when you go to the meet someone like never done. Jen says we know about you and that. We know that you have been practically making out with the entire math team in the back of that loser van, and that is so not cool. <laughs> Jen says you better cut it out, Ronto. It's either math team or ever having a normal life in high school again. And believe us, if you choose a bunch of losers over Jen and me, you are so totally screwed. And we mean all that sincerely. Love and kisses. Jen and Jen. Don't guess what I'm sure about that. Jen says, P.S. One of us will be dating Scott Sumner by the time we all get our next periods. Shh. <laughs> what is a period? <laughs> so you mean uh, this whole time they did not know you were on the math team? Are you kidding me? Right. <laughs> Jen says, good riddance. 